welcome back to Linux. We're going to create a block device on our Linux boxes right now and mount that device as a disk. So we'll walk through a bunch of the same procedures we use with creating a new virtual hard drive, but the steps are rather simple and straightforward. So we'll do the sudo-s, become root. Once we do that, we're going to pop over and run a couple of commands. We're going to go to our temp directory and then we're going to start dd, which is data dump, input file of deb0, and output file of disk1.img. Our block size is one megabyte and we're doing this 500 times. So that creates a 500 megabyte file. Over here, next we're going to use low setup, which is loopback setup, to make dev loop0 mount the disk01.img file as a device. So once we did that, there are a couple of options with a uh, low setup here. We can do a low setup dash F. It'll show you that probably loop zero. I mean, sorry, loop one is the next one. Yeah. And uh, dash A, we can see what available slots are there. Or what's being used actually, what's being used with that. Yeah. And then D is to uh, detach or delete one of our, our low setup devices. We, don't, we do not want to run these yet, so we'll hold off on that. Next, let's go ahead and fdisk that device we just created. So fdisk dev loop zero. Once it comes up, it says there's no partition table. We need to write a partition table, so we'll hit new and hit all the defaults. Once we do that, we can print this and we can see that we just created the first partition. We'll choose write and we've now we wrote that. So we're going to go ahead and actually I'll pop over here. We're going to go ahead and part probe dev loop zero. That will bring the partitions back up to date. Then we'll format this partition. So I'm making this an ext4 or the second extended file system version 4, fourth extended file system with a label of example on dev loop 0p1. Okay, done. Next step down, we'll go ahead and make a directory called example, and then we'll mount our uh, dev loop 0p1 to temp example. All right, so I'll just highlight that, pop that in, and now I have mounted my dev loop 0p1 to example. To verify that, I can type mount and look at all my mounts. You can see we got it right there. I can go over and do a df-h to see how much space I have. We can see we have uh, 445 megabytes available on temp example. And I can run an ll temp example and we can look inside that thing. So we'll list the files. There's lost and found. All right, now that we've verified it's all there, let's get rid of it. So let's go ahead and U-mount that device. So we'll U-mount it. Once it's gone, we'll detach it or delete our loopback device. And then we'll go ahead and remove that disk01.img file that we created. And we'll remove the example directory we've created. You really don't have to delete the disk01.img or the example directory if you're running a Debian-based distro like I am. Uh, when I reboot, everything in the temp directory will be deleted. A couple of things if you want to look a little bit further 